And speaking of Black Friday, here is your forecast for South Florida. We're expecting a very warm day on that day. Spot shower possibly, but more than likely everyone's going to stay dry. Temperatures will top out. Look at that in the mid 80s again on Friday. We have a few showers still remaining, but they are really dying now. They're really shrinking down. So it was Western Broward County down into uh, Collier County that's picked up most of that rain tonight. And it was the sea breeze front that came across. We had a little bit of moisture and that's what continued. And with that upper level westerly flow, it's pushing these off to the north, uh, north and east. So these little showers will die off in the next hour or so, and then that should be it for tonight. But we still have flooding, coastal flooding along the beaches, all the way down across the southern part of the state, and then back up toward the west. And that's just due to these high tides, these king tides. We're back into that season again. So here are your next high tides for tomorrow morning. We'll start at Key West. You go over to Isla Mirada at almost 9 o'clock in the morning, a little bit earlier in the morning for Miami, 7.50. 8.05 a.m. So you can expect that there's going to be some high water on those roads again, and that could cause some delays. Should be dry tonight for the rest of tonight, even tomorrow morning looking good on your Wednesday morning. And then by the afternoon, a spot shower is possible. The models continue to change just a little bit, but if we have that sea breeze front coming in, that'll provide the lift. There's just enough low level moisture that there could be a spot shower out there. Thursday morning, Thanksgiving looks dry. Again in the afternoon, a spot shower, but then they push inland and they move off to the west. Same thing again on Friday morning. There could be a spot shower out there, but I think most of this stays away from the coastal areas the metro areas over the next two days. So you just don't find a whole lot of rain over here. Everything wants to push off to the west. Frontal system still sitting there. That's going to wash out. It will be replaced by the next cold front that comes in. And this one really not going to make much of a difference at all. So if you're going to be doing traveling anywhere across the state of Florida, Wednesday into Thanksgiving, everything looks good. Of course, very warm across the south, a little cooler to the north. But still, these temperatures are above average. And Thanksgiving Day, we're looking for highs in the mid 80s. Just like today, we hit 85 degrees. Let's keep that going. 85 Wednesday, Thursday. This is an update, by the way. Friday 86, we're going to push it into Saturday and Sunday now as the front comes through. Temperatures cool off only slightly next week and very low that, that little chance for rain. Don't go away.